Breaking news tonight, American Idol superstar turned Oscar winner devastated. In an apparent home invasion, Jennifer Hudson's mother and brother brutally murdered in their own home. The American Idol star breaks the bank, offering a $100,000 reward for the safe return of her little seven-year-old nephew, the boy kidnapped from the scene. Little seven-year-old Julian also confirmed dead. Jennifer Hudson jets to Chicago to identify the dead bodies of her family tonight. In the last 24 hours, a little boy's body positively identified as Hudson's seven-year-old nephew. And tonight, we learn COD, cause of death. The little boy dead by multiple gunshots. We are live in Chicago as we go to air. Police confirm still no suspect. Husband Hudson's brother-in-law, William Balfour, on parole for a 99 attempted murder, picked up for questioning. And tonight, we learn he was arrested for cocaine just this past June. But he slipped through the cracks with no jail time, walking free at the time Hudson's family gunned down. And now, his girlfriend blows his alibi. Jennifer Hudson, American Idol, American Dream Girl, American Nightmare. The Chicago police say the seven-year-old nephew of Oscar-winning actress Jennifer Hudson died of multiple gunshot wounds. Mm. Julian King's death was officially ruled a homicide after an autopsy today by the Cook County Medical Examiner. The memorial outside the home is growing steadily, rapidly larger. The place where the mother and brother of an Oscar winner were found shot to death Friday. It's not here for two murder victims anymore, but for three. Police have questioned William Balfour, the estranged husband of Julian King's mother. Police say there'd been an ongoing dispute between him and Hudson's family. So far, he's not been charged. Police have not ruled out the possibility that more than one person was involved. Tonight, what many want for her are answers and peace. And tonight, breaking news, police desperately searching for a beautiful three-year-old Florida girl, Kelly, after her grandparents report her missing. Little Kelly now not seen for 19 long weeks, last seen with her mother. So why didn't mommy call police? Headlines tonight, top mom Casey Anthony's case in court today. She pleads not guilty to murder one. Just hours ago, the judge sets down Anthony's trial date, January 5. How will the defense counter stunning FBI lab results that confirm death, human decomposition in mom Casey's car? FBI lab results torpedo any chance that pizza or a dead animal responsible. The massive search for Kelly gearing up and still not a single visit to the jailhouse by grandparents George and Cindy Anthony tonight. Where is Kelly? She is not a murderer. Aggravated child abuse, aggravated manslaughter of a child. She loves that child. And, and uh, four counts of providing false information to a law enforcement officer. Okay, she purposely just let us. So that was a lot. The mother of missing Florida toddler Kaylee Anthony has been officially arraigned on murder charges. Casey Anthony had entered a written plea of not guilty. She's charged with first-degree murder and her daughter's disappearance, even though the little girl has never been found. You guys are going to put Kaylee in a coffin. Investigators found evidence of chloroform and human decomposition in her mother's trunk, and they believe the missing toddler is dead. There was no odor in the car when it was towed down to the towing company. Maybe someone put a body in the car after it was towed to the tow yard. Good evening, I'm Nancy Grace. I want to thank you for being with us tonight. American Idol superstar turned Oscar winner Jennifer Hudson rocked by violent crime. The little seven-year-old nephew shot multiple times along with her mom and brother. Autopsy reports just released and still police say no suspect. Jennifer Hudson had to go to the morgue to identify the third family member shot dead her seven-year-old nephew, Julian. Julian King's death was officially ruled a homicide after an autopsy today. That body was found yesterday in a white SUV three days 
after the bodies of Hudson's mother and brother were discovered in their home on the city's south side. Police have been questioning William Balfour, the boy's stepfather, but still won't say he is a suspect. According to the Chicago Tribune, sources are saying Balfour's girlfriend is now contradicting his alibi to police, telling investigators he was involved in the killings. Police have not found the gun that was used in the murders, and they say they don't know if more than one person was involved. It was a baby. How could someone do that to a child? The murders have captured hearts across the country. As much for the senseless brutality as for the star at the center of this tragedy. Straight out to Susan Rosen with CNN standing by there in Chicago. What can you tell me? What's the latest, Susan? The latest has to be that autopsy report, Nancy. The autopsy report, uh, the autopsy has been completed, but when we specifically asked the medical examiner spokesman today, when did the child die? How long had the child been dead when the body was found in that car? And, uh, you know, where was the child killed? Are you sure the child was killed in the car or perhaps in the home or someplace else? No answer. They have really thrown this hot potato back on the police, Nancy, by saying, oh, it's the Chicago police who have to tell us because it's, it's a continuing investigation. Though the police had told me yesterday, ask the medical examiner, he'll tell you. I don't think anybody wants to touch this, Nancy, because I don't think it supports the police theory that it was William Balfour. We are taking your calls live, and make, let me make it very clear that Jennifer Hudson's uh, brother-in-law, William Balfour, is not a suspect at this time. He is a person of interest. Tonight we learned that he was picked up on a parole violation. Uh, we believe that was possession of a weapon, but he has not been named a suspect in this case. William Balfour. And joining us right now is a very special guest. His mother is with us exclusively tonight, Michelle Davis Balfour. She is the mother of William Balfour. He has been named a person of interest in this case. Miss Balfour, thank you for being with us. I think I've got Miss Balfour with me. Michelle Balfour, are you there? Liz, let me know when you hook her back up. Back to Susan Rosgen as we wait for that hookup. Susan, uh, I, I want to ask you, when you're saying the medical examiner will not confirm where the murder took place, how would the medical examiner know? Well, uh, I would assume that he would know from some things in, that were surrounding the car, Nancy. Yesterday you talked about, or one of your viewers called and asked you about, uh, you know, the ballistics, the casings, and things like that. And if there weren't those sorts of items in the car, you'd think the medical examiner would know he took the body out. I want to go out to Dr. Michael Bell.